Hello Coder, Synthetic Programming here with a brand new video for you guys today and today we are going to be doing the first out of three methods to program a Pascal's Triangle Generator in Java. So Pascal's Triangle, for those of you who don't know, is a triangle where each box in the triangle or each like space in the triangle is the sum of the two digits above it, right? So it starts with one on the top and then two ones and then this one will be 1 plus 1 is 2, this one 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, so then 3 plus 3 is 36, so that's, so you can see how the triangle works. Okay, so we're going to program something that generates uh, those numbers for us, and we're going to tell it what row, and it'll give us a, it'll give us all the numbers uh, printed out. Okay, so now, uh, we're going to be doing this in three methods. Like I said, this is the first out of the three methods. This one is going to be using loops. I'm also going to be doing videos on programming it using recursion and programming it uh, using binomials. So um, just stay tuned for those videos if you guys are interested. Those are going to be coming up soon as well. Um, okay, so let's go with method number one. We're going to be using loops. So first thing to do is to save this file to desktop to Pascal Triangle and we're gonna call this Pascal like that so Pascal underscore loops so Pascal using loops um, and we're gonna save it remember as a dot Java file so let's save that and you can see it over here Pascal loops dot Java and uh, so the first thing we're going to do is type import like that, um, then Java dot util right uh, dot scanner, okay. And uh, after that, just add a semicolon. Okay. So now we start our public class. So public class, and this is the name of the file. So Pascal loops like that, um, Pascal loops, and then we have our brackets, just like this, okay? So inside of these brackets, we are going to write all our code. There are gonna be three functions in here. The first one we are gonna start now is public, right? Static, um, and actually here, let me add a, a space there so it's a little easier to read. So void, and uh, then we're going to type print, just like that, okay? And so print is going to, we're gonna put in here int, right? Um, and then space n. Okay, so then after that, we need our brackets, our curly braces, sorry, that we're gonna be writing our code in. And we are going to start off by saying, we're gonna declare some variables. So we got int, like this, with uh, the square brackets after that. Uh, called previous row like that um, and that's going to have a semicolon after that we are going to say int with braces again current row like that with oh sorry current row is going to be equal to and then in here we're gonna put one okay so we just set current row equal to one just like that and uh, now we're going to type print array like that uh, print array and then inside of print array we're gonna say current row just like that okay so now that we've done that uh, below that we are going to do previous row like this previous row is going to be equal to current row um, so in other words, in this print function we're making, we're going to have like a previous row, a current row, and the current row is starting out equal to one. Uh, after it prints the current row, it sets the previous row equal to the current row. So you can see it moving on, right? Okie doke. So now let's get into our loops. So in here, uh, we are going to say four, right? And then in here, int like that. Um, I equals two uh, semicolon like that. Um, we are going to say I 
is less than or equal to n semicolon and then we are going to do i plus plus so we're looping um, through i with one right and n remember is going to be the uh, n we're going to give it we're going to say the amount of rows that we want to print out okay um, and then we're iterating through that so now we can add some more brackets java is full of these so now we are going to say current row like that uh, current row equals new right int and in the box we are going to put i just like that okay so now we have uh, it's equal to this new int semicolon and uh, now we can say that current row zero like that is going to be equal to one okay so after that we do current row uh, in here we write I believe it's I uh, I minus one like that uh, is going to be equal to one okay and another semicolon there now we use our next loop we're gonna say for int right oh, sorry int like this um, j equals zero like that semicolon uh, then we're going to say j is less than or equal to uh, i like that semicolon and then we are going to say oh sorry my bad it's not just i it's i minus three and then uh, we are going to say if you guessed it j plus plus just like that okay cool so now we can put our braces and we can start writing inside of here and what are we going to write inside of here this is going to be the more complicated part we're going to do current row like this current row j plus one is going to be equal to previous row right j and then we are going to say plus previous row j plus i or sorry j plus one okay so i don't know if you can tell what's going on um, but just to recap what you're pretty much doing here is you're saying that the next thing in the current row that you're that you're creating is going to be equal to in the previous row j plus j plus one so you're adding the two things uh, the two parts above to create the unit below okay so that is actually it for that whole loop let's remember our semicolon there and now that we are done with that loop we can type print array like that uh, print array current row and then also uh, below that oh sorry semicolon like that and then below that we are going to say previous row equals current row current row just like that boom with a semicolon there as well so and let me just make sure okay and there's two below here so now oh scroll z did i take away one of these i believe i did yep that's that loop that's this thing okay so now there we go that's what i wanted okay so now we're going to start writing our next function so we're going to say public public static void um, and this next function is going to be that print array function we've been using right so print array and what is print array going to take it's going to take int with brackets like that and then array like that okay and uh, so now that we've done this we can add our little brackets again and in here we're going to put another loop so for inside of here we are typing int equals zero. Oh, sorry i equals zero i equals zero oh, there we go uh, semicolon and then we are going to say i is less than 
array dot length like that and uh, grab another semicolon there and then we are doing I plus plus because we are iterating put some more brackets and then we are gonna say system right dot out dot print um, and then now it's not print line it's just print we are going to print array uh, I like that and uh, we are going to add a space like that boom and then we put a semicolon there okay and then after that we are going to say system dot out dot uh, print line remember print ln and then just these and a semicolon okay so that will be our next little uh, little thing here so now we can go and write our last function down here so that's going to be public static void main uh, sorry nope public static void yes main Boop. okay and in here what are we going to put we are going to put string oh capital string like that with these little square brackets and then args like that okay and uh, then on the other side here we put this little guy these little brackets and we are going to say now this is where we get the user input so scanner right um, scanner space scanner lowercase equals new um, and it is a new scanner right and on the inside of the scanner we are going to write system dot in like that okay so this is where we're getting the user input and uh, now that we have that put a semicolon under that we are going to say system right dot out dot print ln right and uh, oh sorry I lied just print and uh, we are going to print the string enter the maximum row to process right so this is going to be um, where what the user is inputting okay and then we are going to say that int is equal uh, sorry there's a new int so int new is equal to the scanner dot um, next int like that right um, and then boom okay awesome just those parentheses and then the semicolon and then what do we do we print right the row okay perfect oh sorry this is not new here this is row row just like that okay cool so row is going to be um, the scanners next int okay cool and then we print row and remember uh, print we wrote up here this whole thing and so that's going to happen to the integer version of what we enter here okay so that should be all of the code let's see if it works so i'm going to save this right uh, i'm just going to do cmd command prompt i'm going to bring it over here i'm going to navigate so we got cd desktop cd pascal's triangle or pascal triangle okay so now we have to compile so java c um, and what are we going to do java c pascal loops dot java okay Ooh, okay two errors after print row we need a semicolon here forgot that one and we also need one here okay that was silly mistakes on my part let's try that one more time perfect okay so that's compiled now let us try to run it we are going to do java and then pascal loops with no extension okay so it says enter the maximum row to process let's do the first 15 rows 
and there we go. That's the first 15 rows of Pascal's pri triangle printed out using loops. Awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. All this code uh, that I just wrote now is going to be available on GitHub if you guys want to go copy it or clone it. Um, link is in the description for that. Check out our website at syntheticprogramming.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to our two patrons on Patreon. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.